and I do have, you know, people in the house. So, so occasionally, um, if you hear a little background noise, just know that they're, they're popping in and out to start digging holes. And then if I have to shoot my cat out of here, because she, <laughs> she's very interested in my piece of paper on the ground. All right. So for the first minute, we're just going to start with some nice big movements of the arms and the shoulders. So start by just big giant circles of the arms and kind of tune in. Notice Notice how your shoulders and your pectoral muscles are feeling here. We have a little work on the sh in the shoulder area today. So just kind of get a sense of where you're at this morning and then you'll just decide what level you wanna go to with that movement. All right, take your circles, reverse them, go the other way. Nice work. Okay, now take it in and out, just a little across the chest and then switch which arm comes on top. Here comes the cat. She's, she's back for more. She loves this piece of paper on the ground. You got five seconds left. And time, awesome job. Okay, now we're gonna take it into an opposite, opposite, same, same. So we're gonna touch opposite hand to foot in the front, same hand, same foot in the back. We got one minute on the clock. We're going as fast as feels good to you. Just gonna get a little bit of speed going, not like it's our speed round, but just to get the heart rate up just a little bit. Nice job, okay. Two more seconds here and then we're gonna switch it. So it's gonna be same hand, same foot in the front, opposite hand, opposite foot in the back. Nice. 15 seconds left. And time, awesome job. Okay, now we're gonna take it into the twist. So we're gonna start by just a little twist to the hips, a little rotation in the torso. Let your knees move with you. Let your ankles move with you, let your arms move with you. We're just kind of bringing that energy to the outer edges of our limbs. And then notice here, how do your knees feel? How do your hips feel? How does your waist and your ribs feel? Notice your breath since we just did a little bit of movement with a little bit of speed. Notice your breath, notice your heart rate, notice your energy level, and then you just make those choices throughout your work on what level you're feeling this morning. Ten seconds left. You got this. And time, nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna step the feet together and it's gonna be toes and heels. So we're gonna toe heel over. Let's go two times one way and then two times the other way. And once you've got that movement pattern down with your feet, we're gonna add on with the hands. So as you toe heel, you're gonna bring your fingers inside the thumbs. You're gonna flick, toes move together, heels move together. So we're moving in the ankle joint. We're bringing strength into the feet. And then notice how your feet feel about this movement. So it might be a little bit of coordination required. A little movement in the toes, the balls of the feet, the heels, the ankles. You got it. This is our fun one for the day. <laughs> Whoops, and then I want to go toes in. So toes together, heels together. You got it. Ten seconds left. And time. Woo! Shake out your legs. Shake out your hands. All right. Grab your set of weights. Light or heavy. Totally up to you. 
We're just loading them up at the shoulders and we're gonna take it into alternating rear lunges. So we're gonna load up at the shoulders, let the weight stay off the shoulders, step back, a little dip of the knee, switch to the other foot. Now, if you don't like switching to the other foot and you wanna stay with just one leg back, you'll stick with that knee dip. And then I'll tell you at 30 seconds to switch. But if it feels okay to alternate, step one leg back and then the other, knee drops down slightly, awesome. All right, now if you're sticking with just that single leg work, switch over to the other leg and then dip the knee there. Yes, nice job. Five seconds left. And time, beautiful, stick with those weights. We're gonna take it right into a loaded squat. So we're gonna keep them loaded up at the shoulders, feet about hip or shoulder distance apart. Think butt back, bend your knees, the chest and chin stays lifted. You got it, only 30 seconds here, but nice and slow and steady. And then just check that distance between your knees. We wanna to try to keep that nice even distance as we go down and a nice even distance as we come up. All right, now the next time you sink into your squat, hold it there and we're just tapping out to the side. So we're gonna stay nice and low, step one foot out and then the other, you got it, nice job. And time, beautiful job, rise up. Take a second to shake out your legs. We are sitting back into that squat, but now we're gonna take it into swimmers. So light weights if you've got them or no weights if your shoulders feel a little mischievous this morning, but we're gonna load up at the shoulders, sit into your squat. One arm reaches up, one arm reaches back. We meet in the middle and switch to the other side. So we're gonna keep our spine in a nice long line. We're sitting back in our heels just a little bit. Beautiful work, nice job. Fifteen seconds left. You got this. And time. Nice job. Rise up. Keep those weights. Next round is our speed round. So it's going to be a bent over row. We're going to let the arms hang but it's gonna be an alternating row and we're going for speed. So we're gonna shift one elbow up and then the other. But as we do that work, we're gonna to try to keep everything else as stable as you can. So think about driving your elbow up towards the ceiling, but the spine stays stable. The butt and the belly stay stable. Yes, nice work, you guys, beautiful. You're already halfway there. Check your belly, just make sure it's staying nice and firm. Twenty seconds left. And time, woo, good job. Come on up, 
Take a second to just shake out your shoulders. And now we're gonna take it, still sticking with our speed rounds. Arms are gonna come up and overhead. We're gonna hold that position and take it into some front kicks. Front kick for speed, if you're feeling the speed this morning. If you need to slow it down and you wanna find a little work working on your balance, slow it down, hold that leg up for a second. But if it feels good to find a little speed, arms up and overhead or in a bent elbow position, whatever feels better in your shoulders. But we wanna make sure that our core stays slightly active, kicking those legs at a pace that works good for you. Beautiful. Five seconds left. Woo, and time, nice job. Okay, we're gonna stick with those hand weights just to add a little bit of resistance, but the next 30 seconds, heel raises for speed. So we're just gonna pop those heels up, lower them with control. Go as fast as you can with control. So if you don't have good control on those ankles, slow it down, but if it feels okay, to find a good speedy rhythm. Your arms are gonna be held slightly away from the side of the body. Good control in your center. Good control in those heels, nice work. All right, now we're gonna sit into it a little bit and switch. Now it's gonna be alternating toe taps. So we're lifting the toes and the balls of the feet. We're activating those muscles in the front of the shins. Go as fast as you can. Five seconds left, how fast can you go here? And time, woo, nice job. Okay, set your weights down, grab your TheraBand. We're gonna work a little bit of balance and a little bit of control. So if you need a little handhold, just put yourself where you have access to a wall or a chair or something. So that way, if you, the work is better than focusing on the balance. So we're gonna take, lift your leg up, wrap your TheraBand, around your thigh, set your foot down for a second. And now you're gonna choke up on that band so you get a good solid pull. Lift the leg up and now you're gonna actively drive the knee out. So it's a balanced position. And now we're gonna swing the heel out. So we're gonna hold that active position and we're swinging the heel out and then bringing it back in. And then once you're there, if you feel like you're focusing too much on the balance, use a handhold so that you can find the work. So the work is happening in your standing leg, but it's also happening in the side of your glute. So gluteus medius, gluteus minimus is helping get that external rotation. And then we're keeping the inner thigh active by getting that little tug on the TheraBand. You've got it, nice work. Five seconds left. Woo, and time, set that leg down. Shake out your standing leg, give everything a good shake. And now we're gonna take it to the other side. So we're gonna wrap that TheraBand under and around the thigh so we get a little bit of a firm handhold. Once you've got that, you're lifting the leg up, holding it tight, and then we're swinging the heel out. We got one minute on the clock. If your balance is off, use your wall or your handhold. Let most of the work come from standing leg, just nice and strong. And then we're kicking that heel out and bringing it back in.
You guys are amazing. Nice work. Twelve seconds left. You got this. Feel free to set your foot down, reset if you need to. And time. Woo! Release that leg. Give your standing leg a shake. Give everything a good little shake out. All right, now we're gonna come down onto the ground into a tabletop position. Once you're down in that tabletop position, just take a second to kind of get a sense of how your knees are feeling. And if you need to double cushion your knees, take a second to do that. But now we're gonna slide the right leg back. We're gonna keep that straight leg position and we're just gonna lift the leg up and lower it down. Everything else is gonna stay as stable as it can. So the belly's gonna stay firm, shoulders in a nice stable position. Ten more seconds of work here. Nice. Now we're going to leave that leg lifted and take it into a tricep push up. So elbows are going to hug towards the ribs. Lower your chest down, push yourself back up. Lower yourself down, push yourself back up. Beautiful. Still that nice solidness in your center so the belly stays firm to support the low back. 10 seconds left. Nice work and time, set that leg down and now we're gonna take it to the other side. So left leg is gonna slide back. We're gonna keep that straight leg position. We lift it up and lower it down. Nice, Karen. Beautiful, Judy. You guys look amazing. Awesome job. Ten seconds left of this work. All right, now keep that leg lifted and we take it back into that tricep push-ups. The elbows bend towards the ribs, the heart comes forward and push your way back up. Nice. The belly stays firm, so we keep the low back supported. Ten seconds left. And time. Woo, bring that knee down. All right, now we're going to sit around into a side seated position. So think knees bent arm long. So we're going to try to find this long arm position and legs like they're in a fetal posture. And then we're going to just start by checking in and see how it feels to lift your hips off of the ground. So this might be enough work right here, just lifting the hips and lowering it down. But then if you want that little bit more with that straight long arm, you're not only going to lift the hips, but the top leg and the top arm, and then everything's going to touch back down. So we lift up that top leg lifts as well. Beautiful. And then we lower it down. We got 10 more seconds on this side. So you go at the level that works good for you. All right, now we're going to switch over to the other side. So swing your legs around or spin yourself around, whatever works better for you. Find that bent knee position, nice long arm. See how it feels first, because one shoulder might be different than the other. So you might choose to just stick with the hips lifting away from the ground. But if that feels good, you're going to take it further. Lift the hips, lift that top leg, lift the arm. Beautiful. Yes, nice work, you guys. Five seconds left. And time, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna spin it around so that we're gonna take it into a little reverse tabletop position. So we're gonna start with hands behind the back. You'll check in and see what position of the fingers work good. So maybe fingers toward, pointing towards the butt or maybe fingers pointing backwards. And then you're gonna see how it feels to add on to that. So start with just that butt lift away from the ground into that reverse table. 
And then if that's feeling good and your shoulders are really feeling happy this morning, take it into a single arm hip lift and the other arm reaches and then alternate, take it over to the other side, lift up and reach, reset it down over to the other side. Yes, nice job. Twenty seconds left. If at any point that single arm work becomes a little too much on the shoulder, feel free to come back to that double arm and just lift your butt. Ten seconds left. Woo! And time. Okay, set your butt down. We're coming down all the way onto our back, and we're going to take it into a figure four crunch. So right leg is going to come across the left. Right hand on the belly, left hand behind the head. We're gonna think about pulling the abdominal muscles down towards the spine as we lift the shoulder across towards the knee. We got one minute on the clock here, slow and steady. Find that focus. As you exhale, belly pulls down, we lift the shoulder and then inhale and release. Nice work, you got 20 seconds left, you got this. And time, and then just release your head from your hand from your head. We'll just real quick, take it into a little figure four stretch. So lift your left leg up, Thread your hands through, grab the back of the thigh or the top of your shin or your knee, just whatever works. And then pull it in a little flex in your right foot so your knee stays happy. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Release and we're gonna switch it to the other side. So we're gonna set up that figure four, left leg across the right, left hand on the belly, right hand behind the head. And then we're gonna think about pulling the abdominal muscles down as we lift the shoulder towards the knee. We got one minute on the clock, a nice slow and steady pace so you can find that focused work. Exhale as you lift up, inhale to lower down. Twenty five seconds left. And time nicely done. Okay, pick up that right leg, thread your hands through, grab the back of the thigh or the top of the shin or the knee, just whatever handhold works good for you. Draw it into a point that you feel a good little stretch, maybe along the outside of your hip or down into your glute, and then just take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Beautiful, now we're gonna release those feet down to the ground. Feet are gonna just be in, like you're prepping for a hip bridge. We're gonna take a second to find a neutral spine, and then we're gonna do some alternating toe taps. So hands in the bony landmarks, take a couple little pelvic tilts, press your low back into the ground, and then draw your tailbone down. So just finding that little bit of movement. And then get a sense, if you can, of where your pubic bone is. So we're gonna try and make a little level set of our hips. So hip bones are gonna line up with the pubic bone. So we find that level position. And then once you feel like you're there, hold that, pull your back of your ribs down to the ground, hold that. So now your belly should be fired up, your abdominal muscles should be kicked on. And now we're gonna hold that fired up abdominal point and then take it into some alternating knee lifts. So one leg is gonna lift, 
and then the other. But the whole time, we're going to keep that fired up core, find a good steady pace, 15 seconds left. Nice work, you guys. All right, that's time. Lift those legs up into a bent knee position. Arms are gonna come out just a little bit for an anchor. And now we're gonna take it into some bent knee corkscrews. So knees are gonna drop over to the right. You're gonna feel your obliques kick on. Circle around like you're making a little half circle. Bring it over to the left, back to center. Over to the left, obliques kick on. Circle around and down, and then take it back to center. And then we're going side to side at a nice steady pace. Finding that work coming out of the side of your belly. Yes, awesome job. You're already halfway there. Ten seconds left. And time, woo, beautiful job. Set those feet down and we got one last minute of work. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. So we're gonna find that butterfly position. Elbows are gonna be our leverage. So we're gonna just press our elbows into the ground and into some bridges here. So we're gonna lift the hips up just as high as they go, lower down with control. Notice here, as you start to find the work, notice if one side tries to drive a little faster than the other. So see if you can keep a fairly even position with the hips lifting up at a level position and lowering at a steady pace as well. Get that nice little squeeze of your glutes as you hit the top and then release down with control. You're already halfway there. And time, nicely done. Okay, lower your butt down. Take a second to help your knees come together. Pull your knees up into your chest with a light little gentle squeeze. And then we're gonna hold on to the right knee. Left leg's gonna go long and we'll take it into a little supine twist. So we're gonna take the right knee over and across the body to the left. Let your right arm open out nice and wide and take about three nice big breaths here. Nice, when you're ready, pull the right knee in, bring the left knee into meet, and then hold on to your left knee. Right leg is gonna go nice and long, and we're gonna take that twist over to the other side. So left knee goes over to the right across the body, left arm opens wide, and then take three nice big breaths here. Beautiful, pull that left knee back into your chest, bring the right knee into me on like little squeeze. And then we're gonna hold on to the backs of the thighs to rock and roll up, catch a little momentum, and then send your legs out in front of you, but with a little bit of a bend in the knees, sink up and over. So reach your arms up, kick the belly up and over, and then reach towards your toes. Does not matter if you touch your toes, we just wanna reach towards something. Take one more breath and then come up nice and slow. We're gonna spin the legs around and then we're just gonna take one last little stretch, a little puppy stretch. So come onto your hands and knees or come onto all fours. And then we're gonna keep our hips fairly in line with the knees. Walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat, get a little reach through the arms and then let your chest drop down and let your head rest between your arms. Awesome, take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly come on up, curl your toes under, lift your knees up, lift your butt up, walk your feet toward your hands, walk your hands toward your feet, and then take a super generous bend in the knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, 
Roll on up to a standing position. Roll your shoulders around, down and back. You guys are awesome. Nice job today. That was impressive. Grab your foam roller if you're sticking around. <laughs> 